See? How much easier that was? I didn't have any fucking thing. <laughs> this, this looks hideous. What? At the bare minimum, it was gonna be these three walls and the back wall. It's good we got that stone sill from inside. We can use it right there. And that's like a nice big hunk of stone <laughs> to use in that <laughs> opening. Give me a good argument to not do the whole thing. I don't have a good argument for you not to do the whole thing, except for the top that's getting demolished. So we have to chip that down. Um, I'm still also trying to figure out, do we even replace this window sill here? Do we just try and turn it around to hide that broken spot? Oh, no. Then we get into the situation of like, well, if we're gonna do the entire back wall, how do we just like not do the entire house then? We've already done the front, we've already done the back. We're gonna be doing the porch side. I think that the least important wall is the driveway side, but with the patio and everything down here, people are gonna be sitting here on this patio looking at this wall. People are gonna be sitting on the side patio looking at the wall like it needs to look beautiful. Then Tuesday we're ripping that floor out. Okay, like, I mean, you can set lofty goals. It's just... Well, I'm not here taking naps all day. I thought you were. We were planning on resheeting this floor after we ripped up the subfloor yesterday. That was the plan. Today we were going to resheet it. We knew that there had been some termite issues in the past. Um, apparently, they're all all the termites are gone now, but you, you can still see the leftover damage. Um, a lot of these joists are chewed to shit, and uh, there's just no strength left in them. They're not straight. There's a million nails in the joists, and uh, you know we've got to repair some of them and reframe half this house, anyways. Actually, we got to reframe the entire house. So now we're gonna have to get a bunch of joists and take all these joists out and put in new joists entirely. has to go in that spray paint pocket right there. So we gotta get a jackhammer and chisel out that spray paint. We have to do the same thing right down there.
hood, you like some hood. So today, we take the roof off. It's about damn time. Of course, as soon as you start ripping the roof off, it starts raining. Which way does shit flow? Which direction does shit flow? People say it flows downhill. No, no, shit flows wherever I'm standing. That's where shit flows. We are replacing the entire sewer main. When you've got an old clay pipe, often they're a six inch round clay pipe, whereas code only requires four inch for your sewer main out to the street. What you can do is just dig up and locate your clay pipe, bust it open, and then slide four inch PVC inside it all the way out to the street and send it over and into the, the foundation that way. My old boss used to get really excited when he had a lot of guys on site and you could hear a bunch of people's hammers swinging and pounding in nails and compressors running and uh, you know there's an energy that you get when there's lots of work being done and there's a large team of people working together and I never used to understand that back then when I was you know 20, 21 but now being in charge of the job site and experiencing it for myself I, I totally get exactly what he, what he was talking about because I, I definitely feel an energy with everybody here working and, and uh, you know, we're all in it together. Are you confident now, Alan? Oh, there you go. I thought you went to the 